Hello everybody. I wonder, have you ever been on a really long journey? Maybe you've been to London. That's about 100 miles away. It's a long, long way. Maybe you've been even further. I wonder how you've been on your journey. Did you go in a car or on a train or in a plane even? Well, our story today is about Mary and Joseph. Do you remember them from last week? Mary had an angel visit her and Joseph saw an angel in his dream. Well, they had to go on a long journey and it was about 100 miles. Here's Margaret to tell you the story. Last week, you heard how Mary was visited by an angel and that the angel told her she was going to have a very special baby called Jesus, God's son. Well, in today's story, Mary and Joseph don't have to wait much longer. Mary and Joseph were really excited. Their baby was to be born quite soon. They were busy getting everything ready for him. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Some soldiers marched into the town and made an announcement. Everybody has to go back to their own town, the town where they were born, to be counted. Left, right, left, right, left, right. They left the town. Oh no, thought Joseph. I was born in Bethlehem. That's a long way from here. Mary, we've got to go on a long journey. You need to get ready. Oh Joseph, I can't, I can't go on a long journey. I, I'm so tired. We have no choice. Gather together some clothes and some food for the journey. I'll go and get the donkey. <coughs> Hello, Scruff. What are you doing? You heard there was a donkey in today's story and you thought you'd be the donkey. Yes, I can see you've got donkey's ears. And I have to hold his face like that, do I, over there, so everybody can see the donkey. Okay. Mary climbed very carefully onto the donkey and they started on the long journey to Bethlehem. At first, the donkey went quite quickly. Trip, 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 trip. But he began to slow down as he got tired. It was a long way, and Mary seemed to be getting heavier. Trip, trop, trip, trop, trip. Oh. Fortunately, they did make lots of stops, so the donkey was able to lie down and have a rest. When he woke up, he was much more energetic. Trip, trop, trip, trop, trip, trop, trip, trop. Then he slowed down again. Trip, trop, trip, trop. Oh, but then they saw the lights shining in Bethlehem. We can see Bethlehem, said Joseph. And that gave the donkey a bit more energy. Trip, trop, trip, trop, trip, trop, trip, trop, trip, trop. They arrived in Bethlehem. But oh no, it was so busy. There were people everywhere, crowds everywhere. Oh no, thought Joseph, this is awful. He went round and knocked on doors and said, have you got a room where we can stay for the night? Sorry, no rooms, we're full. Sorry, we're full, no rooms, everybody said. Joseph began to get really worried. Oh no, what am I going to do? Mary called out, Joseph, hurry up, I need to rest. Then he spotted a man just going into his house. Excuse me, excuse me. Have you got anywhere where we can stay for a night? My wife's going to have a baby and she's tired. The man smiled and said, well, I've got a stable round at the back. You can sleep there if you want to. Oh, yes, please, said Joseph. That'll be brilliant. Yes, please. So the man led the donkey and Mary and Joseph round to the back of the house to a stable. The donkey was so tired, he just lay down and went to sleep. 
While he was asleep, something amazing happened. Yes, that night in Bethlehem, Mary had her baby. Mary gave birth to God's son. They called him Jesus. They wrapped him in cloths and laid him in the feeding trough. When the donkey woke up, he was blinded by a bright light that shone all around Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus. He walked over to the baby. He looked down into the feeding trough. The baby was beautiful and his face was aglow in the light of a new star that shone in through the window. Well, thank you, Margaret, for telling us that story. And thank you, Scruff, for helping. He was a great donkey, wasn't he? And what an amazing thing to happen. Mary and Joseph had to travel all that way, probably about 100 miles, no cars, no planes, no trains, but on foot or travelling on a donkey to go and be in Bethlehem. And then when they get there, nowhere to stay. And they had to go and stay in a stable and that's where Mary had her baby. And the baby was Jesus, that's God's son. Well, I was thinking, what can we do to remind us about the story? And I was thinking you could, perhaps you could make a donkey out of some junk modeling things, or maybe you could draw a picture of Mary and Joseph in the stable with baby Jesus. And perhaps you could add some animals that might've been there too. Or we could play a game. When I was little, we used to have a party game called Pin the Tail on the Donkey. Um, I think now it's better to do it with Blue Tack the Tail on the Donkey. And so I thought you might like to have a go at that. So you need to draw an outline of a donkey on a piece of paper. Here's one I've drawn with a bit of help from the internet. And then I've made a tail out of a piece of coloured paper and a bit of Blue Tack on the end. And you can stick it on. Can you see it hasn't got a tail? So you can stick the tail on like that. Now, that's a bit easy, isn't it? So the game is you find a blindfold so that you can't see. You turn round three times and then you try and stick the tail on the donkey. And it usually ends up being quite funny because sometimes the tail's over here or over here. So you shut your eyes with your blindfold, turn round three times and then stick it on. See, that doesn't look right, does it? And you can all take it in turns. And if you each have a tail, you can see who's got the closest. And it's quite a fun game to play. So that's called Pin the Tail on the Donkey. Well, I just thought we'd say a prayer before we finish. And just thinking about how Mary and Joseph trusted God because they knew that he loved them and that he was always with them. And that whatever happened, he was going to be with them and wouldn't let them down. So let's pray. Father God, thank you that you love each one of us. Thank you that you are always with us and thank you that we can trust you. Thank you for Mary and Joseph and how they did as you asked them and they trusted you. And thank you most of all for sending Jesus to be born a little baby for us. Amen. Well, that's great. We'll see you all next week. Don't forget to have a look on the website to see at the resources and um, there's some more ideas of things you can do there. And also, why not sign up for the Chris Dingle service on the 20th of December? Just check out on the website and there's a registration form and you can join us. That would be great to see you there. So have a great week and we'll see you all next week for the next instalment of the story. Bye.